Pompeii Ruins Pompeii was an ancient city located in what is now the Comune of Pompeii near Naples in the Campania region of Italy. Pompeii, along with Herculaneum and many villas in the surrounding area was buried under 4 to 6 meters, 13 to 20 feet, of volcanic ash and pumice in the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in AD 79. The eruptions of Mount Vesuvius, a major stratovolcano in southern Italy, the most famous is its eruption in 79 AD, which was one of the deadliest in European history. Hello everyone and welcome back. If you are new into this channel please consider subscribing and click that notification bell so you'll get notified every time I post a new video. In the autumn of 79 AD, Mount Vesuvius violently spewed forth a deadly cloud of superheated tephra and gases to a height of 33 kilometers, 21 miles, ejecting molten rock, pulverized pumice and hot ash at 1.5 million tons per second, ultimately releasing 100,000 times the thermal energy of the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The event gives its name to the Vesuvian type of volcanic eruption characterized by eruption columns of hot gases and ash exploding into the stratosphere, although the event also included pyroclastic flows associated with Pelian eruptions. Pompeii was built about 40 meters, 130 feet, above sea level on a coastal lava plateau created by earlier eruptions of Mount Vesuvius, 8 kilometers, 5.0 miles, distant. The plateau fell steeply to the south and partly to the west and into the sea. Three sheets of sediment from large landslides lie on top of the lava, perhaps triggered by extended rainfall. The city bordered the coastline, though today it is 700 meters, 2,300 feet, away. The mouth of the navigable Sarno River, adjacent to the city, was protected by lagoons and served early Greek and Phoenician sailors as a safe haven and port which was developed further by the Romans. The first stable settlements on the site date back to the 8th century BC when the Oscans, a population of central Italy, founded five villages in the area. With the arrival of the Greeks in Campania from around 740 BC, Pompeii entered the orbit of the Hellenic people The most important building of this period is the Doric Temple, built away from the center in what would later become the Triangular Forum. At the same time the cult of Apollo was introduced. Greek and Phoenician sailors used the location as a safe port. In the early 6th century BC, the settlement merged into a single community centered on the important crossroad between Cumae. Nola, and Stabii and was surrounded by a Tufa city wall. Or, the Papamonte Wall. By 524 BC, the Etruscans had arrived and settled in the area, including Pompeii, finding in the river Sarno a communication route between the sea and the interior. Like the Greeks, the Etruscans did not conquer the city militarily, but simply controlled it and Pompeii enjoyed a sort of autonomy. Pompeii became a member of the Etruscan League of Cities. Etruscan cities were a group of ancient settlements that shared a common Etruscan language and culture, even though they were independent city-states. Excavations in 1980-1981 have shown the presence of Etruscan inscriptions and a 6th century BC necropolis. Under the Etruscans a primitive for a more simple market square was built, as well as the Temple of Apollo in both of which objects including fragments of Buccaro were found by Meure. Several houses were built with the so-called Tuscan Natrium. The period between about 450 to 375 BC witnessed large areas of the city being abandoned while important sanctuaries such as the Temple of Apollo show a sudden lack of votive material remains. The Samnites, people from the areas of Abruzzo and Molise, and allies of the Romans, conquered Greek Cumae between 423 and 420 BC and it is likely that all the surrounding territory, including Pompeii, was already conquered around 424 BC. The new rulers gradually imposed their architecture and enlarged the town. From 343 to 341 BC in the Samnite Wars, the first Roman army entered the Campanian plain bringing with it the customs and traditions of Rome, 
and in the Roman-Latin War from 340 BC the Samnites were faithful to Rome. Pompey, although governed by the Samnites, entered the Roman orbit, to which it remained faithful even during the Third Samnite War and in the war against Pyrrhus. In the late 4th century BC, the city began to expand from its nucleus and into the open-walled area. Pompeii was one of the towns of Campania that rebelled against Rome in the social wars and in 89 BC it was besieged by Sulla, who targeted the strategically vulnerable Porta Ercolano with his artillery as can still be seen by the impact craters of thousands of ballista shots in the walls. Many nearby buildings inside the walls were also destroyed. The battle-hardened troops of the Social League, headed by Lucius Cluentius, helped in resisting the Romans, Pompey was forced to surrender after the conquest of Nola and the result was that Pompey became a Roman colony with the name of Colonia Cornelia Veneria Pompeianorum. Many of Sulla's veterans were given land and property in and around the city, while many of those who opposed Rome were dispossessed of their property. Despite this, the Pompeians were granted Roman citizenship and they were quickly assimilated into the Roman world. The main language in the city became Latin, and many of Pompey's old aristocratic families Latinized their names as a sign of assimilation. Pompey became very prosperous due to the desirability of living on the Bay of Naples for rich Romans and due to the rich agricultural land. Many farms and villas were built nearby, outside the city and many have been excavated. These include the Villa of the Mysteries, Villa of Diomedes, several at Boscoreal, Boscatrices, Oplantis, Tercino, and Civita Giuliana. In 1894 the House of the Vetii was uncovered and restores and many of the artifacts remained in the house to show visitors how Pompeians lived. These have since been replaced with replicas. The protections afforded to the Pompeii site meant that excavations and plundering of treasures took place out of the site. In 1890 the walls of Pompeii were excavated with more intensity than before. It also became clear that many of the houses had two stories but many of these had been dismantled in order to get to the more interesting downstairs rooms post-war director was Amadeo Mayuri build up of the changing focus of excavations as discovery, inquiry and preservation. Almost everything that can be seen today at Herculaneum was uncovered up to the period 1942 to 1959. At Pompeii, restrictions have been placed on where visitors can visit. This is to prevent further deterioration and ensure safety of tourists. Conservation is a major priority. There are 15,000 buildings to maintain and further mass excavations without a strain or the preservation of these buildings. Only 30% of the site is accessible the rest is in ruinous state of uncovered, regions 7 and 8. It could be argued that what would be considered modern and scientific techniques have only been employed in this century, 21st. The consensus view is that the earliest excavations were focused on the extractions of treasures, statues and artifacts with no thought to discovery or inquiry of the town itself, including its buildings and people. The work was haphazard, lack methodology, classification and documentation. If fact the fabric of the buildings was sometimes destroyed to get at more valuable interesting materials below, for instance the second story floors. Even correspondents of the day like Walpole noted there is no judicious choice made of directors. In later decades and centuries, the narrative goes, a more enlightened and holistic view of the excavation process began coinciding with the birth of a unified Italy with Pompeii as its showpiece. More recently, with better funding, preservation and conservation have been the priorities given that 15,000 buildings need to be managed. Pompeii may have been founded by local Oscans, but from an early period both Greeks and Etruscans took an interest in its development, undoubtedly because of its prime location on the Bay of Naples. The Greek-influenced Doric temple dates to the 60th century BC and Etruscan pottery was found in its foundations. By the end of the 5th century the town had been conquered by the Samnites, but by the 2nd century it was already heavily influenced by Rome, 
in terms of both political structure and public buildings. In 80 BC it was one of the Italian towns that opposed Rome during the Social War, and as a result was stormed by Sulla. Modern archaeologists have excavated garden sites and urban domains to reveal the agricultural staples of Pompeii's economy. Pompeii was fortunate to have had fertile soil for crop cultivation. The soils surrounding Mount Vesuvius preceding its eruption have been revealed to have had good water retention capabilities, implying productive agriculture. The Tyrrhenian Sea's airflow provided hydration to the soil despite the hot, dry climate. 113, barley, wheat, and millet were all produced along with wine and olive oil, in abundance for export to other regions. Pompeii not only shows us the lifestyle of Romans in ancient times, but it also influenced art, architecture and literature after its excavation began in 1748. Its excavation also began to influence archaeological advancements. It influenced wealthy folks across Europe because of the dawn of classicism. Elite Europeans would tour the Italian peninsula in search of art and artifacts to decorate their homes. Pompeii was specifically targeted because of the gems and riches found there, as well as the tragic tale behind its destruction. Many aristocratic European homes included an Etruscan room, the design was based off of Pompeian architecture and art. Pompeii's architecture was influenced by many cultures. Greek door columns, Etruscan bronze pottery and Roman temples were all found in Pompeii. Some of the buildings in Pompeii include temples to worship Venus, the city's god, an amphitheater, theater, baths, sports centers, shops and workshops as well as block houses and villas. The architecture is unique, only in Pompeii is it possible to trace the history of Italian and Roman domestic architecture for at least four centuries. Pompeii influenced literature because after the birth of classicism, Works like The Last Days in Pompeii written by Sir Edward bulwer lytton became popular amongst Europeans. Therefore Pompeii's destruction was unfortunate, but its rediscovery became a part of culture still prevalent today. That's all for today guys if you like this video, please like and subscribe for more.